he got on a boat to leave his world behind cause he had seen too many of his people die I spent a year at Christmas Island. I lived inside a detention centre. I've met the people, I had personal connections. This is something that a lot of people don't get the chance to experience. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Minority Tritian, the name is about representing the minority groups and being the voice uh, of those groups that, um, that don't have a voice. So we make music um, about stories of asylum seekers, refugees, um, Aboriginal persons. Um, people of the margins um, and we want our music to, yeah, to be different. Hiding from the sun and light reminds them well, Minority Tradition uh, came about because we wanted to make music that made a difference. We just didn't want to be uh, another band that just played in pubs. We wanted people thinking, not just drinking to our tunes. The students really embraced it. Uh, the students uh, seemed to get a lot from our presentations. And children connect to music. Young people like that through song you can enjoy and, and take them on board, and, but there's a greater meaning to it. If music can educate as well as be enjoyed, then we're moving forward. Um, I think for the schools, um, it's really important that they are bringing stuff like this and people like us who have been out on the field, who have been in detention centres or in the slums of Kenya or on the streets of Kolkata in India and share that experience. Um, because I've learned through my experience of doing those things. And I won't walk another day to see these men get washed away. No, no, I believe. And you do too. They deserve a chance to live as we do. A life that's free without no war. I think asylum seekers get it pretty rough. They make up such a small percentage of uh, immigration or migration to Australia that they get tarnished with this name of boat people, of queue jumpers, of, of illegal immigrants. And that's not true. It's not true, but who's telling the story? So going into schools is really important because we bring a story of personal connection and we're hoping to re-educate or show a side of the story about asylum seekers that hasn't been told. If you get a personal experience with someone who is different to you, you will be open to difference. Um, if we can personalise experiences, if someone has met an asylum seeker and knows their name, gets to know their story, they can't think all asylum seekers are queue jumpers. It doesn't work. But if you're hearing this stuff through media and there's fear put on top of it, how can you personalise that? So going into schools for me, and actually um, I've brought a few of my friends who have come over uh, via boat. I've brought them to a few of our presentations and, and they spoke in their stories and I've seen 30 to 40 young people just silent. They didn't know what to say because a lot of stereotypes, a lot of judgments were broken down. I uh, worked on Christmas Island as the uh, manager of a volunteer group and we ran a majority of the activities and programs inside the detention centre. It was difficult at times. It was difficult because I was seeing these people come over, um, fleeing their countries, their land, leaving family behind and I wanted to tell their story um, but I couldn't do that in my role. So when I finished up um, I wanted to express the people's stories that were coming over by a boat and I started writing songs and um, that's how I told this. I support refugees!